Hey everyone, Shashank this side. I hope everybody is doing well and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, I'm continuing with my Mac instance part two video. In this video, we'll be going to learn or talk about how we can get a GUI access to Mac OS. In the previous video, we learned about the concept of Mac instance provided by AWS onto its platform. We require a dedicated host to provision Mac instances plus uh, if there is no dedicated host present in your environment, then you have to raise a support case with AWS to get the dedicated instance limit into your account. So for the testing purpose, for your learning purpose, try to have one instance, one, one dedicated host into your account so that you can play around with this model. And as you can see, I have already SSH into the box. It's Mac OS Catalina 10.15.7. I'm continuing with the same Mac instance what I provisioned in my last video. So in order to get access to or enable the GUI interface, there are like certain steps that we have to do first. Uh, I have jotted down all the commands. I will share the commands in the description section. So first we'll be going to change the password because to access the GUI, we need a user ID and password to enter into that particular interface, right? and we have to enable something called VNC provider. So first let's try to change the password for EC2 user. We already have an EC2 default user and I'm going to change the password for that. So for that, just sudo password EC2 user and I'm going to use a plain normal password. One, two, three, four, enter. One, two, one, two, three, four, enter. So password has been changed. The next command to run is enabling the VNC provider. So for that, let's copy this command. And don't worry about the command. I'll be going to share this command in the description section. Okay, enter. Let's wait. Yep. So the VNC viewer is already set. Okay. Now, the next step, the VNC itself works on certain port number, which is 5900. So we have to enable that port. So for that, I'll go to my security group of Mac instance that we created in my last video. Click on edit inbound rule, add a rule. It will be a custom port 5900 open from my IP address. Save it. Okay. So we have a user ID, we have password. Now we can easily connect using sharing app. Okay. Now uh, we have to give the IP address of our host, which is the public IP in my case. Okay. So let's give this public IP, click on connect. Now it's asking for me a user ID and password, which is EC2 hyphen user. Okay. And password is one, two, three, four. Click connect. It's trying to connect now. Mostly we'll be going to see a GUI interface for login into the Mac OS world. Let's wait. I guess it's connected. Here we go. Now click one, two, three, four. That's the password for my EC2 user and hit enter. Here we go. We are into the GUI of Mac OS. It's still trying to log in to the environment. So we just wait for a few more seconds. Let me maximize this. Yeah, here we go. That's that's my Mac OS. Now, if I see the version, click on Apple icon. Click on about this Mac. It's Catalina 10.15.7, the AMI that we took to create our Mac OS and you see this 32 gigs of memory graphic card is Intel UHD graphics and 3.2 gigahertz six core Intel core i7 you let's see the storage I guess we selected somewhere around 100 
10 or something right so it's 107 uh, gigs of storage 85 is available we already have checked the memory it's 32 gig okay support you can see all these things on your Mac GUI interface it is just similar to a MacBook what you use in your day-to-day -day life right so that's how you can connect to your Mac environment and it's quite easy you can do a lot of uh, application building you can do testing you can use this for your daily purposes as well but I would prefer to use this environment for your building purpose uh, building your application testing your application related to the Mac OS environment so yeah that's how you can connect I will share the command with you in the description section so play it around try to spin up one Mac OS instance into your environment into your account and see how fast it is please share your uh, experience in the comment section I would love to hear from you guys what you guys have learned till date with the Mac OS instance it is quite easy and Play it around guys and place out a comment in comment section if you are facing any issue. I will be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.